What's up guys? I'm Adam and welcome to another episode of the Brewing Workouts. Today I'm going to take you through a dumbbell circuit workout. It will be five exercises that we'll go through three times. Nice quick 15-20 minute workout. We'll also answer the age-old question of if I need to do strength training to be lean and fit. So I just did 10 minutes of cardio it's to start my warm-up. Now I'm going to do two sets of 10 of lunges, push-ups, and squats. That way all my muscles will be able to be woken up and engaged and prepared for the dumbbell circuit. Shall we begin? Let's begin. So, do I need strength training if I want to be lean and fit? That's usually the question. So there's, I would say there's two types of different people that you can generalize um, in the gym. So one is people who are just there to try to lose weight or, I mean, burn calories. And then there's also the people who are wanting to strength train who are also trying to kind of bulk up. So aerobic training is typically thought of as a way to help reduce different diseases such as, um, I don't know, diabetes, um, dementia, heart disease, all those sorts of things. And strength training is more generally thought of functional kind of training. So um, things to help you look better in a swimsuit, to make you feel better about yourself. But that's sort of changing, you know, I mean, the way we kind of look at it. So basically, Strength training will actually help you with diabetes, so it can help regulate your glucose and insulin levels. Um, strength training can also kind of help conditions such as high blood pressure or even depression. Now, let's get to our circuit. All you'll need is a set of dumbbells, possibly a bench, but that's not completely necessary. Make sure you're drinking water as well. All right, so what we got here, got some dumbbell bench press. Yeah, we're going to do 12 of these. Yeah, so this is going to be working on your chest strength, basically your pushing motion. Um, all of these exercises today are going to be a total body workout. So, got your chest. Now, we got our bent over row. You're just pulling the dumbbells kind of up to that bottom of the rib cage. Pulling back those shoulder blades, working the upper back. Ooh, goblet squats. Go nice and deep for these, if you can. If you have back problems, try not to go, you don't have to go as low. Um, or if you have knee problems, make sure you have that correct form. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is a good old Arnold press coming from the man himself. This is gonna get total shoulder um, activation. When you're going up, get started with the, the front deltoid, going around to the center, central and rear deltoid. For that and let's check out this final exercise we got our nice step up here just stepping up onto the bench raising that knee two dumbbells in your hands oh what's this adding some barbell or dumbbell curls to that and getting a little little arm action going Yeah, oh, switching legs. See, I did 10 on each leg. Did five without the curls, then the second five with the curls. More importantly though, once you hit your mid 30s, early 40s, somewhere around there, you're going to start losing about 1% muscle mass a year. So that's why it's important to keep your muscles engaged and keep that from happening for as long as you can. 
as you get older, you want to be able to maintain that strength for your functional activities. So like when you go to the grocery store, picking up your bags of groceries, moving a couch, doing anything like that, strength training will help with and help you benefit as you get into older age. Strength training can also play a significant role in maintaining bone strength. Um, so basically when you have the muscles pulling on the bone, it simulates that impact that your bones are used to and helps keep them strong. So now strength training is even thought of as one of the best ways for maintaining that bone, bone density and that bone strength. So everyone is going to have different goals for trying to be active and fit. But no matter what your goals are, it's always going to be important to just have a little bit of strength training just so you can be a lot stronger, um, have less of a chance of osteoporosis, diabetes, heart disease, anything like that in order to stay healthy well into old age. Now I'm going to get back to my workout and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed what you what I've said today and we'll see you next time.